Captain. Two, three. Good evening. Five four four Tango will be a flight of three. Two real details and one funny bonanza. Uh, heading out to the northwest, we have Lima. A lot of new guys will come in and, you know, why are you doing time hacks? Why are you setting the start lines? Why are you going out and taxiing in such, you know, rigid formation and everything? Because you're setting up a standard of trust to your wingman and your leadman. So every year, Oshkosh, Wisconsin hosts the world's largest fly-in. It's a ton of fun, really great time, but one of the best parts are these mass arrivals where a ton of planes of the same type fly in together. So we're here today in Westfield, Massachusetts for the New England Bonanzas to Oshkosh Clinic to get ready to go fly with 120 Bonanzas, Barons, and Debonairs from Rockford, Illinois to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Traffic, 10 o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. So, as we said, it is not a gaggle, all right? This is training you to go in and fly with 130 plus airplanes. It's gonna be a 25 mile long conga line. We gotta be on the same page. The foundation of it is to be safe and get a group of airplanes in a place and on the ground and in the air more efficiently, okay? For individual people, it's going to help build a whole new skill set. You're going to be blown away by it. You're going to get up there when stuff goes really well and you make a really nice pass under or cross under and pop up on the other side right in the correct position. You're going to sit there and go, wow, that's freaking awesome. And by the time you finish the word awesome, you're going to be working back into position. <laughs> <laughs> it's anticipation too, guys. Recognizing, and this is where we're getting in close, is the minutia of when you're starting to get out of position. It needs to be, I see something changing, and the sooner you make that correction, the less work you're gonna have to do. The more you do it, and the closer you get in there, the more you're gonna enjoy it. So I'm the lead on the first flight here today. Uh, we're gonna take off, do some maneuvers. We'll switch leads, so when we come back, I'll be number two. And then uh, we'll go do another flight, just kind of the opposite. Should be fun, gotta make sure I don't screw up. Okay, so we'll get up here, we'll park side by side, and then we'll do a run up. Or I'll give him the signal to do a run up. We'll do a run up, he'll do a run up, let us know when he's ready to go. And uh, then we'll call for clearance and get him out. So one thing we have to keep in mind is that we don't want to make too sharp of a turn because we basically just got a, a trailer behind us. Okay, so we gave him the signal to do a run-up, so we'll do a run-up here. Okay, so we got a uh, right crosswind today, so we'll line up on the left so that he's on the upwind side. So he's going to be on our prop watch to blow into him from our uh, wing to the Number three, Mike, Mike. Number three, six, seven, hotel pop, flight up two, runway two, zero, line up and wait. Two, zero, line up and wait, Bonanza, three, six, seven, hotel pop, a flight. Bonanza 7 Hotel, pop flight of 2, runway 20, clear for takeoff. 20, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 367 Hotel, pop up flight. Westfield Tower, aircraft after 7229. Aircraft after 7229, Westfield Tower. Westfield Tower, 7229. Okay, we'll set uh, 
Five inches of manifold pressure here. Five inches of manifold pressure here. Okay, and we're gonna hold it on until we got 80 knots. Depart guard ramp at your own discretion. Westbound, remain uh, well west of runway 20, departing traffic. Well west of runway 20, west outbound. Okay, there's 80 knots. We'll start a nice gentle climb here. Delta Bravo flight, runway 20, taxi via Alpha and Bravo for full length departure cross runway 33. We'll get our gear up, gears up, and we're gonna climb out at 100 knots here. 500 feet per minute, so I'm gonna pull the power back even just a little bit more. When you're flying formation, you're basically just using the other plane as a horizon reference. So once you get used to it, it doesn't really matter if you're uh, you know, straight and level, turning, or upside down, it all just looks the same. And uh, you see here, he's doing a pretty good job. And then I'll give him the cross under. Flying formation is a lot about just getting, you know, being comfortable, getting used to it. That's why it really more than probably any other type of flying uh, requires you know, just recency and, and currency. And you'll see when I'm uh, the wing here a little bit, you know, it just takes, takes some getting used to, and then every now and then you kind of scare yourself a little bit. You just got to work back into that, just being comfortable uh, right next to another airplane. Okay, two, if you're ready, uh, we can go ahead and do the lead change. Two. Okay, uh, so we're about 20 miles northeast of Barnes. We've got about uh, probably two and a half minutes of this race until we get to the edge of the box. Two, take the lead. Two. Over six to Quebec flight, taxi Okay, so he's kicking me out. Six to Quebec. So we'll go out here. Okay, he's waving us back in. So we'll add some power, we'll slide on over. It's so actually the closer you are, sort of the better, uh, you know, sight picture you have, and so actually the easier it is to stay in position because you just have better references. Okay, we have the cross under signal, so we'll pull the power back just a little bit, come down, shift across, keep them in sight real good, add some power. So again, really, it's all about just, you know, keep making sure the other airplane continues to look the same. And then uh, from there, you don't really care whether you're going up, down, left, right, right side up or upside down. You just keep the other plane looking gotcha. the same. I want to pop your approval just like keeping the, the uh, horizon there. level in ordinary straight and level uh -huh. flight. Uh -huh. Just want to stay straight and level with him. All of these little adjustments in and out are really just rudder. You know, we just stay level, level to his wings and then uh, slide in and out with rudder and uh, you know, forward and back with power. I am sweating like a dog. This is a lot of work, especially the uh, throttle movements. With the vernier throttle like this, you have to hold the button in sort of with your palm so you can continuously be making these throttle adjustments and it's just, and your hand kind of cramps up. So today we're doing a no flaps landing. That's what we briefed. So there's the gear. Go ahead and put ours down. Once again, it's like going into St. Barts. Got this nice little turn on short final. Got a little bit acute there, right in the uh, touchdown, but two is down and slow. Okay, so I told him we're down and slow, so he crossed in front of us. We're exiting to the right. Okay, we'll pull over here to Roger. clean up. Line up, just perfect.
Jeffy is going to be ground. So element takeoff, I'll request a right downwind. It's so beautiful. Look at the sky, these planes. It's amazing. I could do this all day. My hand would probably die. Take a proceed on course and thanks a lot for the help today. One of the key things on these flights is to basically try to maintain radio silence. We should be able to do all of this between the brief and signals and uh, plane signals.